So, um, I forgot to tag people. So, all y'all tagged. Yo, they try to tell me that I'm tripping. Got the mind of a winner. You don't know the difference. See that hate up in your eyes, little buddy. What you sipping? Oh, you think I'm out of bounds? Then go ahead, blow the whistle. I can't help but turn the heat up. Let them watch me sizzle. Try to figure me out. That's a complicated riddle. Got an outside game, and I still can work the middle. So what's going on all my frag heads and said heads, the champ is here and I'm about to tell you what's fragging. So my man, FD, Fragrance the Dawn, I'll go ahead and leave his link below, tagged me in a challenge video or a tag video. And it's in regards to the four elements, so earth, wind, fire, air. It was kind of tough for me because I couldn't think of anything fiery, so I wanted to start there. But before we get into it, make sure you like, make sure you hit the sub button, also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any content. Drop me a comment below. Let me know which fragrances you have in your collection that would represent those. Or if there's a issue you have with mine. Because, like I said, or any recommendations with mine. Because, like I said, a few of them I was just like, I don't know. But to my nose and just what it came to mind would be these fragrances. So, let's start with fire. Because fire was the toughest one that I had to choose. Um... I smelt this bad boy and it hit me right in the nose like my nostrils flared it felt like it burnt the nose hair just completely away gone do i have any oh you see the mole yeah but no hair <laughs> it did that and that's going to be no other than intimately by david beckham you see it there celebrity fragrance i know most of you are saying oh yeah it has to suck. This is actually pretty good. I get compliments when I wear it. It is pretty basic. There's nothing special to it. All it is, to me, is spices and water in a bottle. As if they grab some cloves, some pepper, maybe even some cinnamon, threw that up in there. But that's pretty much all you get. A heavy clove type fragrance. I mean, I can see it being professional. However, the longevity on it isn't good. The projection isn't good either. The first time I wore this, I got a compliment. I remember I was laying on the couch. The old lady comes over and she leans over and gives me a hug, but she smells me and I can kind of hear her breathe heavily. You know, she took a deep inhale. So it was like, okay, she must like this one. So I think I wore it to work one day too. And someone told me it smelled like sex. Well, they didn't say on my skin it smelled like sex. But when I spurred it on paper, they said it smelled like sex. So there you go. That's going to be my fire. David Beckham intimately. And these are in no order. I'm just grabbing what's next to me. For wind, I chose banana. Republic 78 Vintage Green. Now, some of you would say since it's vintage green, it can be earth, right? But to me, this is just airy. And what I mean by airy is that you get greenness, right? You get, I believe in here, it's green notes, green leaves, some figs, some vetiver. That to me just smells like the summer air or spring air, you know? Once it goes by your face and into your nostrils, it's going to hook you. You know, remember in the uh, old cartoons where you see the finger go like this, right? It feels like that. Like when the wind blows by you and it's something that catches your attention and you're like, oh, what is that? This is that, like a good, fresh, clean blast of air. You know, some good-ass prana. So if you haven't picked it up, go ahead and pick it up. It's a cheapie. The projection on this isn't that great. It sits very close to the skin. The longevity is there. But like I said, it's more so to me for intimate um, intimate encounters, you know, close encounters. Nothing that's going to grab other people's attention unless you walk by. Like the sealage on it's really good. Like once you walk by, like I said, it's real airy. So someone's going to catch a whiff of it as you walk by. If you haven't checked this out, go ahead and check it out. Let me know what you think about it. The next one would be water. Now, I have a whole bunch of blue frags, right? And all of those is pretty much like aquatic notes. Um, you get the freshness out of it, like you just jumped out of a shower. So that would be probably the first assumption to go with. But with me, it was this bad boy. Bagari Aqua Amara. 
this thing here, you get your marine notes, your aquatic notes. You get the orange, that real bitter orange. It's a real dirty, bitter orange. Like orange rinds, not orange juice, but orange rinds. Or the peel of it, the orange peel, I should say. Like it literally smells like seaweed, lake water, and oranges. That's pretty much what you get with this. And then like if you're on a boat or something like that and it's going and then the breeze is going past your face as well, you're going to get that whiff too. So you get like the saltiness of it as well. So it's like a salty seaweed aquatic orange scent. And it's very potent. It's very strong. You have to be careful with this. I sprayed it on to go to my nephew's soccer game and I choked myself out. The whole time I'm sitting there, I'm like, damn, if I could smell myself that heavily with the mask on, everyone else can smell me. So be careful with the sprays. The longevity is forever. It's going to last you an entire day. Everyone around you is going to smell you, including yourself. So just be very careful with this. And this would be what I would represent as water. It's going to be Bulgari, Aqua, Amara. Now, last but not least, to me it's very, very earthy. And I guess you can put it in the same category as I would the Banana Republic 78 Vintage Green. But I'm not going to. I could have easily said this was wind or air, but for earth, I'm going with carbon low intense. With this bad boy, you get mint, ginger, and I believe some vetiver in there as well. I know there's like birch, you get some birch in there, some cedar. So it's very, very earthy. It's almost as if you're hiking, you're on a hike in the springtime, not the summer, in the spring. And you don't get that real dirty, dirty smell, but you get that earthly smell, you know, that you're outside. That's what you're going to get with this, that ginger. It's very good with the mint. Now, I wish they would have added patchouli to this. I think with patchouli in, into it, it would have made it more of an earthly scent. But I kind of like it the way it is because you can actually wear this to work or any any occasion really it's a it's a really good dumb read so that pre pretty much sums it up to go ahead and recap for air we have banana republic 78 vintage green like i said just greenness y'all just greenness green leaf green tea some vetiver it's great for fire, we have David Beckham intimately. Cloves, maybe some cardamom, maybe some cinnamon, with some water and a bottle. That's what this bad boy is. Water, Bulgari, Aqua, Amara. Seaweed. <laughs> lake water, salt, and orange peels. That's what this bad boy is. And then last but not least, carbon low and tints. Mint, ginger, some birch in there as well. Good scent. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you click the bell so you don't miss any notifications or any content, make sure you leave me a comment. What would you put into your category of earth, wind, and fire? Yeah, I'm missing one. Earth, wind, fire, and water. I'm thinking about the band, so forgive me. But with that being said, my name is Cedric, said he said, Fraghead said, peace and blessings.